Looking for a good antenna for your handheld ham radio? In this video, I'll show you the top three antennas for different budgets to help you choose the best one for you. You can find the latest prices and links in the description below. First, the best budget antenna is the Nagoya NA771. It's a solid upgrade from the antenna that comes with most radios. The Nagoya NA771 is a great antenna for affordable handheld radios like Baofeng, BT, Rius, and similar brands. It also works well with more expensive radios like Yesu. The antenna has an SMA female connector, which fits many radios like Kenwood and Baofeng if they use the right connector. If your radio has a different connector, like an SMA male, you'll need a different antenna version. It's a good idea to use an antenna cover to protect the connector. The NA71 is about 15.6 inches long, which lets it work well on both 144 MHz and 440 MHz bands. But because it's long, it might feel uncomfortable for people who carry their radios on their belts. For that reason, you might prefer the Nagoya NA771R, a retractable version that can fold down to just 4.25 inches when not in use. Nagoya antennas are known for being well-made and reliable. The NA771 is flexible and soft, so it can survive drops and rough handling. It has a 50 ohm impedance, a low VSWR, under 1.5, and gives about 2.5 dB better signal than most standard antennas. It can handle up to 10 watts of power, which is plenty for handheld radios. Be careful when buying. Like diamond antennas, Nagoya antennas are often copied. To avoid fake ones, buy from trusted sellers. In short, the Nagoya NA771 is an excellent antenna at a low price. It gives much better performance than the basic antennas that come with radios. It's easy to connect, improves both transmitting and receiving, and is built to last. There are also different versions to match different radio types. What we like, simple to connect, better signal for talking and listening, strong and flexible design, options available for many radio types. What could be better? The retractable version, NA771R, is easier to carry. Real Nagoya antennas can be hard to find. Watch out for fakes. Next, if you want something more high-end with great performance, go for the Comet SMA24J. It's our top pick in the premium range. The Comet SMA24J stands out right away because it's slim and lightweight. It's thinner than other antennas like the Signal Stuff Super Elastic and the Diamond SRH77CA. That slim shape is helpful, especially when you're walking around with your radio. It doesn't get in the way or hit you in the face like thicker antennas can. When it comes to performance, this antenna is a clear step up from most stock antennas. You'll notice the biggest improvement on the 70 centimeter band. Signals come in clearer and it's easier to connect to repeaters. If you're using a radio like the Yesu FT60R, you'll see better performance than with the basic antenna that comes with the radio. However, on the 2 meter band, the difference isn't as noticeable. In fact, antennas from some Chinese brands like Oshan or the newer Baofeng models might perform just as well in that range. One thing to be careful about is durability. The SMA24J feels a bit delicate, and some users, including me, have seen it bend or even break at the base after small drops. If you're someone who takes your gear hiking, biking, or does a lot of outdoor activities, this antenna might not hold up very well. Comet could make it stronger by reinforcing the base. When compared to the Diamond SR877CA, the SMA24J is easier to carry around but not as tough. Against the Signal Stuff antenna, both perform about the same, but Signal Stuff is stronger and more durable. For everyday use, like walking around town or using your radio casually, the SMA24J is a great mix of performance, comfort, and price. It's not the cheapest option out there. Some brands like MFJ are cheaper, but it's still a good value for the money. So, should you buy it? If you mostly use the 70 centimeter band and want a small, lightweight antenna, the Comet SMA24J is a great choice. But if you need something stronger that can handle rough conditions or better performance on the 2 meter band, you might want to look at other options. Summary. Pros. Slim and light. Better performance on the 70 centimeter band. Easy to carry. Good value for the price. Cons. Can bend or break easily. Not much better than stock antennas on the 2 meter band. Not ideal for outdoor or heavy use. 
The best all-around option for everyday use is the Diamond SRH77CA. It gives a good balance of performance and price. The Diamond SRH77CA is a great antenna for handheld radios with a male SMA connector, like most Yaisu models. If your radio has a female SMA connector like many Baofeng radios, then the Diamond SRJ77CA is the better option. Besides the connector type, both antennas work the same way. They can receive signals between 120 MHz and 900 MHz and work best for sending signals on the 144 MHz and 440 MHz bands. At 15.6 inches long, this antenna acts like a quarter wave or half wave antenna, which helps improve signal strength for both sending and receiving. Diamond antennas are known for their strong build and high quality. Unlike many cheap antennas, they are made to last. Their low impedance design and heavy duty coils reduce signal loss and improve performance. They are also soft and flexible, so they don't break easily. Users are more likely to lose them than damage them. While they can be used for scanning, they work best when used with dual-band handheld radios. The SRH77CA supports up to 10 watts of power, which is good for most handheld radios. While diamond antennas are more expensive than cheaper brands like Goya, the better quality and performance make the price worth it. One problem, though, is that many fake diamond antennas are sold online, so make sure to buy from trusted sellers. In short, the Diamond SRH77CA is a strong and reliable antenna that works well with compatible radios. It offers better signal strength for both sending and receiving. The main pros are easy compatibility, better performance, and great build quality. The only downsides are that retractable antennas are easier to carry, and finding a real Diamond antenna can be hard because of so many fakes. Thanks for reading. To check the latest prices, look in the description below. And if you want more reviews and radio tips, check out the videos showing up now. Have a great day.